1998, I wrote my first few columns for a local newspaper. It was a very stressful time in my life, and weekly humor was my therapy. But I stopped doing that and thought I would always put through a book. Uh, I was looking for an illustrator, though, and it wasn't until 2011 when I met David and saw his website. I knew he was the Norman Rockwell of the 21st century, and this was going to be pure gold. It's been three years in the making, and it's been worth it. All right. So. So we went round and round about the title. Yeah, we had like on training up a child, on raising children, on raising a child. On raising a kid. On training a kid. (laughs) And we finally decided that on training a kid would work because the up was just a little too uppity. Yeah, that's exactly it. And we wanted to keep the word training in there because the whole joke is that Mary didn't want to put a leash on her son until it was utterly desperately necessary to put a leash on said son. Because I knew he wasn't a dog. (laughs) A thumbnail sketch is a really small visual brainstorm when you just sit down with your sketchbook and whenever an idea comes to you, you just make it happen visually. Uh, You'll see like three thumbnail sketches I created for the Valentine's Day image and you see how the concept evolves. You start off with this picture of a dude, it's kind of geeky, he looks like George McFly from Back to the Future, and you've got all this really interesting decorations in back of him to make you feel like you're at a seafood restaurant. And then the next one, um, I include the man and the woman, and she's got this dreamy look on her face, and there's this huge fish in the background. And then when I did the third one, I thought, well, we should have two fishes and they should be kissing. Because this is their match made in heaven or match made under the sea to hearken back to back to the future. I love that movie. This Easter eggs illustration is one of my favorites. Probably because there's just so much going on in there. There's this little squirrel in the bottom who's found his own egg. Every character is looking a different direction, and so you've got all these different lines crossing paths throughout the whole illustration. There's a girl in the background who she's found her own egg. There's a bully that wants to come pick on the toddlers, but he's really intimidated by the dude with the tats. Um, I loved designing the tattoos on the guy's arm. I put some interesting birds in there and other animals. It was just a fun, just a fun picture. I think that's what I love about all of them is putting lots of details in there embedding little stories within the story you know the 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 girl who goes crazy over finding the right prom dress turns into a werewolf or mary's surgeon turns out to be that creepy kid from seventh grade math and he's scratching disturbing images in his desk i just love putting all those little details in there and letting the viewer search the image and find gold On Teenage Driving was one of my first columns back in 1998, but it was quite short. When David read it and started to work on the illustration and discussed his ideas with me and showed me his thumbnails, suddenly the column grew new legs and I started to incorporate his ideas when I rewrote it. He identified with the adrenaline junkies in my household and he reminded me of the harrowing near-death experiences my children had undergone. Fortunately, none of them in the car, but close enough. So it was a win-win situation for everybody as everything developed and everything got better, except, of course, for those poor battered cars in our family. When I was in art school, in one of my illustration classes, we had this pretty renowned illustrator come speak and he said something I'll always remember. He said, I do not like painting. I like having painted. And I wish that wasn't true for me, but it totally is. Working on this illustration, on getting organized, I was pulling my hair out. I did not enjoy it. But once it was done, it felt so good. And when he emailed it to me and I opened it up, 
it just took me back decades because I had lived with that room in my house. And I studied the, the illustration and saw so many things that tickled my funny bone. I couldn't have been more delighted. He did all the work and I got all the fun. 